Oh, let, let me just draw this diagram. So the first diagram that we have is this is this kind of diagram. We we got a circle, then we got a center O here, then we got some sort of a radius line, then from here to here, from here to here. So uh, this is A, this is point B, point, point C, and this is point O. So here we got an angle, here we got angle A, we got angle A, and here we got, we got angle B, and we are required now to determine the size of, the size of angle A and the size of, and the size of angle B, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm not going to give you numbers like I'm not going to 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 give you the exact measurements but I will try by all means to to give you some sort of a equation to use or expression or the formula I don't know what to call it so the size of a because a is at the center of um, this and b is at the circumference that means that a is two times b and b is half a therefore the size of a size of a it's equals to it's equals to two times two times b and b it's equals to one over two times times a because <coughs> because the angles at center um twa, uh, equal the magnitude of the angles at center is is two times the magnitude of of the angles at circumference so in this case we have already <coughs> we have already answered question 1.1.1 1.1.1 then what what do you notice about the sizes of a and b what we notice here is the reason <coughs> what what um i notice what I notice about the size of A and, and B is that is that um, A is twice the size of B and B is half the size of of a so question 1.1 question 1.1.1 and 1.1.4 um, are exactly the same so this is what you are going to write throughout this is what you are going to write throughout so 1.1.2 i'll just write the same as 1.1.1 1 1.1.3 also also 1.3 is the same 1.1.4 even here you apply one and the very same thing so now let's quickly move to let's quickly move to one point let's quickly um Okay, um, now let's go to 1.2 quickly. The question states that what do you observe concerning the angles at center and the angles at the circumference? So what you are being asked is that what do you, what do you observe or what do you notice about the angles at center and, and the angles at the circumference? And the answer is that um, the angles at center are two times the angles at circumference and the angles at circumference are half the size of the angles at center. So you simply write that. So I don't think it's necessary for